Oh, hello. Yeah, I was just admiring the Atomium, one of Flanders most iconic monuments here in Brussels. Flanders. Nobody can locate it on a map. But did you know that the world was actually mapped out by a cartographer of Flanders? Gerardus Mercator. But Flanders has a lot more to offer within its five historical cities. Antwerp, Mechelen, Leuven, Ghent, and of course, Bruges. Especially within its arts. Rubens, Breugel, Van Eyck. These are all the Flemish painters that have paved the way for art as we know it today. We also appreciate the art of looking good. The Antwerp Six, who are considered to be some of the world's most skillful tailors, are also from Flanders. Pickenbergs, Van Beierendonk, Van de Meulemeester, Dries van Noten. Since these designers hit the scene, the fashion academies of Antwerp and Brussels have continued to produce top talent from all over the world. You might enjoy the bubbling music scene that Flanders has to offer. Every summer, 200,000 visitors flock to this meadow for Tomorrowland. And that's why Flanders is known for the biggest festivals in the world, including Rockwerchter and Pukkelpop. May I offer you a Westvleteren? Belgium is certainly famous for its beers, but did you know that the world's best beer, Westvleteren, comes from Flanders? It's just one of the hundreds of specialty beers that our extensive beer culture has to offer. We bon vivants like our food, but we love to enjoy it in one of our many Michelin star restaurants. Mussels with fries. Volovant with fries. Flemish too with fries. And of course, Flanders' own chocolate pralines. Time for some exercise. People in Flanders usually enjoy watching the Tour of Flanders or just like to take a quiet bike ride in the countryside. But Flanders also has been shaped by a historical event, the Great War, which took place right here in the Flanders fields over a hundred years ago. Isn't it interesting to think that due to these events, we can today call ourselves the capital of the European Union. The region that once resisted all central government now acts as a symbol of unity. Truly worthy a place on any map. 